The Russian military have faced a shortage of drinking water on the front line in Ukraine, says an intelligence summary of the UK Ministry of Defence. This situation developed due to damage to utility infrastructure caused by Russian bombing and rocket attacks. The problem is also exacerbated by hot weather. A pro-Russian military blogger reported that water rations for pilots have been limited to one litre a day, which corresponds to a quarter of the minimum requirement recommended when operating in high temperatures. As a result, pilots have to turn to local residents for water. Also, according to British intelligence, some Russian military units are forced to make improvised filtration facilities using stale puddles to meet their daily water needs, risking a rise in the incidence of disease among soldiers. Lack of water, which leads to dehydration and increased risk of infections, almost certainly affects the morale and operational effectiveness of the Russian army, the agency emphasized. As a result, Russian pilots have turned to locals for water. A pro-Russian military blogger appealed to Russian water supply companies to provide additional water to Russian military bases in Rostov, Voronezh and Crimea. Previously, British intelligence reported that the lack of regular troop rotations was one of the most significant factors contributing to low morale and the inability of the Russian army to conduct high-level training after the invasion. The lack of such training further hampers Russia's ability to carry out successful complex offensive operations, according to the UK Ministry of Defense. This comes after Ukrainian forces launched a surprise attack into Russia's Kursk region last week, a potentially crucial moment in the conflict. Kiev's soldiers took control of a number of villages, but Vladimir Putin has vowed to kick them out. He said the defense ministry's main task is to push to kick the enemy out of our territory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia brought war to others. Now it's coming home. Ukraine has always wanted only peace and we will certainly ensure peace. The Ukrainian forces destroyed a Russian Su-34 in the Kursk region during a night combat mission, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The report says the forces and means of the anti-aircraft missile troops of the Air Force of Ukraine destroyed a Russian Su-34 fighter bomber in the Kursk region during a combat mission. The work to eliminate the occupiers, their equipment, and weapons continues unabated, the General Staff says. It is first fighter bomber that Ukrainian forces destroyed in a Russian Kursk region. Ukrainian forces destroyed a Russian helicopter in Kursk region also. A first-person view drone operated by the security service of Ukraine hit a Russian military helicopter in mid-air in Kursk Oblast. Recall, the Su-34 is a Soviet-slash-Russian all-weather, twin-seat fighter bomber designed to carry out precision missile and bomb attacks against ground targets in operational and tactical depth, and to hit air targets. Technical characteristics, maximum speed at high altitude, 1,900 km per hour, maximum speed near the ground, 1,400 km per hour, range, 4,000 km, combat radius, 1,100 km. The cladding of the Rio Shopping and Entertainment Center in southwest Moscow is burning from the first to the fourth floor, the fire has been assigned a high complexity level. TASS was informed of this by emergency services. A fire broke out at 1 Bolshea Chermushkinskia Street in the Rio Shopping Center. The building's cladding is burning from the first to the fourth floor. The fire has been assigned a complexity level of 2 out of 5, the agency's source said. According to him, they plan to involve aviation in extinguishing the fire. Firefighters have extinguished the open fire, emergency services reported. According to the Baza Telegram channel, the fire started in the area of the fitness center. The Rio shopping center chain in Moscow includes three shopping complexes. The Sevastopolsky Center is located on Bolshea Chermushkinskia, the other two are on Leninsky Prospect and Mitrovskoy Shoss. In July, 
a fire of 5 square meters occurred in the building of the Galeria Shopping Center in the central district of St. Petersburg, and a ventilation hood caught fire in one of the cafes. People were evacuated, no one was hurt.